And finally, the Boeing Starliner spacecraft is making headlines once again, this time for making strange noises in space. Astronaut Barry Wilmore recently reported an unexplained sound coming from the Starliner's capsule. The latest issue comes just days after NASA deemed the spacecraft too risky to bring Wilmore and his colleague Sunita Williams back to Earth. The astronauts have now been stuck in space for over three months. Our final report explains. Boeing Starliner spacecraft has been in the news since early June when it blasted off for its first crewed flight and carried astronaut Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore to space. For three months straight, the spacecraft has made headlines for all the wrong reasons. It started when Boeing spacecraft first experienced malfunctions in space, leaking helium along with the outage of several thrusters. Now less than three meters away. These technical issues led Williams and Wilmore to get stuck in the orbit. And what had to be their eight-day mission to the International Space Station became an eight-month-long trip. Good handle. The Japanese laboratory on the right and now the Boeing Starliner is on the front page once again for making strange noises while dodged to the space station. Barry Wilmore recently reported an unexplained sound coming from the Starliner's capsule. The astronaut reported it to Mission Control in Houston and asked them to investigate the noise considering Boeing's dangerous history. And after a two-day inquiry, the mystery behind the pulsing sound was finally resolved. NASA says the audio system of the International Space Station is complex and it allows multiple spacecrafts to be interconnected. The noise that Wilmore reported was actually from the audio configuration between the space station and Boeing Starliner. And these technical sounds are quite normal and usual. The empty Boeing Starliner will be undocked on September 6th and is slated to return on autopilot with a touchdown in New Mexico. So this is our Atlas v Meanwhile, NASA says Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams are expected to remain in space until next year because NASA has deemed the Boeing spacecraft too risky to bring the two astronauts back home. Space flight is risky, even at its safe to, safest and even at its most routine. And a test flight by nature is neither safe nor routine. And so the decision to keep Butch and Sonny aboard the International Space Station and bring the Boeing Starliner home uncrewed is a result of a commitment to safety. Our core value is safety, and it is our North Star. I talked with Butch and Sonny uh, both yesterday and today. They support the agency's decision fully, and they're ready to continue this mission on board ISS as members of the Expedition 71 crew. The exact return date has not been fixed yet, but it looks like the two astronauts will be given a ride back to Earth on Elon Musk's SpaceX Dragon capsule sometime in February. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. Kamala, you're fired! I say, bring it on. If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. 
प्रोजेक्ट वन ट्री अ न्यूज एटीन नेटवर्क इनिशियटिव across continents one powerful news source bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter we go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished.